It is the funniest thing I've ever done in my life. And it's the weirdest, because you're the only person on the set that doesn't have a script. So you're improvising, Every, everybody else knows the story, they know what they're doing, and you are free-falling. So when you oh arrive, God. you mm. say, yes, I'm going to do it, yeah. and, uh, and Dermot's done it, and there's yeah. a lo loads of people who've done yeah. it and had a brilliant time. What happens when you arrive on set? Oh, they keep you in your trailer. They do not let you see the set. So the first time you see everything is when you walk in. So everything in front of you, in front of your eyes, is a, a surprise. And that's what makes but it so But you're dressed hilarious. in your costume. The, the only the thing you... you see is your costume. And, and your one is a, is a period piece. It's Victorian. Victorian, which made it even funnier, to be honest. But, yeah, you know, it, it's like one of those terrible anxiety dreams that you get. Yes. Where you're invited on stage and you don't know how to play the guitar. Mm. To, or I remember the night, the, after the first night, uh, I had this dream that I was with Tom Davis, who, who runs the yeah. show over there, and uh, we were we were flying free fall in this lift over the top of the O2, oh my and God. we were just spinning around and around, and it was just this an anxiety really got dream. in your head, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, because I didn't know what I was doing. We saw you there, obviously getting the giggles. There is a serious aspect to this because you've got a crime to solve. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of uh, it's a murder mystery game that you play at parties sometimes, yeah. where everybody plays a part, and they shoot that to be honest, that's what it is. But it is just the funniest show that I've ever... It's just bizarre. But you're... Because I mean, you look at the people that have been on it, like we said, the Dermot and Ember Bunton, mm. um, you're the first sort of actor that's been on it. Oh, don't so tell does, me that. I'm no, but I know, I know, but I just I wanted... most probably laughed the most out of all of them. <laughs> but uh, did that help? Because you must have done improvisation in the past. That must have been part of your uh, oh, training. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Sort of well, when I was a kid growing up at drama school, I went to Anna Schertz. Anna Schertz Drama Theatre in Islington is all about improvisation. And, you know, uh, having improvisation as a skill mm. in your armoury is kind of the best thing you can have in this business. Mm. Because whether you're presenting or whether you're acting, improvisation is the key. And... Um, but do they shepherd you into the right sort of area? Yeah, they shepherd you into the right areas, but you can also take it off somewhere else. So it's up to you. Really, and they have to respond as well. So they have to be improvising as well. Yeah. But they have their lines buried in, Love so it. they can always bring so it back you, round. You could actually really stitch them up. Oh, well, you can, but they will, they're very clever. And, and I have back. to say, all of the actors that you work with on that show are brilliant. Mm. Absolutely first yeah. class. It's such a good idea, isn't yeah, it? It's just the funniest thing. Uh, and I, I can't tell you enough. If you're out there and you want to watch it, uh, go and have a laugh. Well, it's, yeah. uh, it, I think yours went live on the BBC iPlayer this morning, so it's up there now if yeah. you want to. And it's also, watch. it's also on After Match of the Day on BBC One. Right. This Saturday. Okay. Good, right. I think there's a new app every Wednesday up yeah. there, I think. Um, uh, very different to the la <laughs> last thing. Your life is so varied at the moment. It's um, always varied. Yeah, yeah. but, uh, but when, when it comes to the last thing you did, I mean, that probably would be Let It Shine, wouldn't it? Yeah, Let It Shine, I did. But I love keeping it varied. You know, yeah. I, I, um, but I think in this business, the most exciting thing is not knowing what sort of email is going to come through next mm. and what, where you're going to be. Uh, and, and I love that aspect of this business. Uh, and I love the fact that I've done so many different things mm. uh, in my career and keeping myself interested. And also, it must be fascinating for you to be sitting back and watching your little boy suddenly oh boy. just absolutely storming it. I mean, oh. Roman, he's, how long has he been on Capital for? He's been there years. for about two and a half years. Two and a half years. So, yeah. I mean, he's been doing, you know, weekend shows and late night shows, yeah. and he's yeah. suddenly been given the, the best show in, in radio business. Uh, absolutely. So, it, in the mornings. But he's very good at what he does. Mm. I mean, you know... Roman. Yeah. I uh, saw so you were with him just uh, a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Uh, he's very good at what he does. Uh, and you don't get to that position yeah. in that breakfast show on Capital if you're not good. Yeah. Uh, well, you can spot it in people when you see you think, oh, yeah, you mm. definitely got it. But the thing is, how is he getting up early? Uh, 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 that's my question as well. I don't mind how he gets up as long as he doesn't ask me to give him a <laughs> ring to get him. <laughs> oh, come on, you think it's sporting dad? <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> could do that. When I had a, when I had a job, uh, I, I used to work on Capital yeah. uh, years and years and years ago, and, uh, and I was so... My maths is utterly useless. And, in, and adding up in hundreds is bad enough. When you're doing the commercials and stuff, you've got to add up in 60s and 30s and then add a 15. That's right. I yeah. used to phone my mother... <laughs> <laughs> and I was on in the middle of the night, and I had to phone her up and say, quickly, you've got to add 60, 15, 30, 10, another 30, and she'd add it all up and say, right, so I could back time it, otherwise I'd crash the news. You see? <laughs> so expect those phone calls then. It's all computerised now. <laughs> so listen, listen, Roman's on a, on a rocket ship. He's, he's, a, he's a 
I'm not just proud of what he does yeah. and how good he is at his work, but I'm proud of who he is. He's mm. turned into a really nice guy. That's so, the best I, I thing love. you could did possibly Did you notice, say. did you know from a young age that he was going to go and do something like that? I mean, was uh, he always that kid that was... Yeah, absolutely. It, Roman, I don't... It, Roman has this ability to do these... Brilliant impressions. He's a great impressionist. When he was about 10 or 11, he used to go into school and the teachers used to get him to stand in the middle of the class and impersonate other teachers in the school. And he always had that ability to be able to do it. Yeah. Super articulate. Oh, uh, and, uh, oh, well done, him. It's a lot of fun.